Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, just a little background on the savings challenge. Um, if you're doing it with me, you're doing well. If you have a different challenge that you're doing, that's that's good too. It's always good to be more uh, financially secure and financially aware of your money and how it goes in and out of your pocket and your bank account. Um, one of the things that inspired me most about doing this challenge, uh, I've always been a saver. I've always been a big saver of money. I've never been a flashy like spender or anything like that because I've always wanted to have that security that if I needed something, the money was there and that prevented me from touch, you know, going into my paycheck to pay for something. For example, if I'm driving a car and my tire gets flat, I'd rather have that emergency fund there versus, okay, I got to take this out of my bank account or use my credit card for this. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to pay this bill because I use that. And that was never something I wanted to do. But this didn't come overnight for me. I was very bad with money when I was young because at that time I was hanging out with a lot of friends and I was rolling with like 20 different guys all the time, going to different clubs and stuff like that. So I was pretty wild back then. So me hanging in that lifestyle, I didn't value a dollar. Um, and that caused me to really be bad financially for a long time. And then when I got my late 20s and I started to learn more and more about how important uh, you know, learning about your finances and, and managing your money is, uh, then that's when I begin to really throttle back. And that, that didn't happen overnight either. It was ups and downs and ebbs and flows and so many things that went right and so many things that went wrong and years and years of practice to finally get a system down that I wanted. This particular system is new for me because typically I save in my accounts, but I kind of do it as an automatic savings this is where I'm actually doing it manually on top of my automatic savings. So my numbers are actually lower than what's actually in those accounts because I have money that goes directly in there for my payroll. But I wanted to do it myself from scratch. So I'll, I'll, I'll obviously calculate it all up at the end of the year. But um, I actually wanted to say, OK, I'm going to start from seven dollars and I'm going to build this thing up um, you know, myself and kind of learn as I go. And, and what inspired me, I saw this video and I saw a few, but this one girl uh, did a YouTube video on her savings challenge. She did like all these different challenges, the $5 challenge, the $100 challenge. She ended up saving like $6,000 for the year. Now, out of that $6,000, the first thing she did was like, okay, I'm going to pay off my credit card balance, which is $2,000. I'm going to pay for my car repair, which is $1,000. I'm going to put money away for my Disney trip that's happening in a year. I'm going to put money away for the house that I want that I'm buying in five years. I want to put money away for this, put money away for that. She gave herself out of $6,000, $250 for a spa day. That was it. She says, back to the drawing board. Let's do this again this year. And that showed discipline and drive and determination that she wanted to accomplish both her long and short term goals. And that sort of inspired me. Like, I'm going to try this. This is a little bit different. I'm putting my own twist to it because I don't like stuffing envelopes. I, I'm more of um, a, a, an account person. Like I said, I don't use a lot of cash. I don't carry a lot of cash. But it inspired me to do more. Uh, to say, okay, Dante, you're a saver. Let's see how far you can go. Let's push your limits a little bit. Let's learn something different and learn something new. And like I said, you know, saving is easy. Maintaining your savings is hard because you have to have that ability to say no, which is not easy. Sometimes you're saying no to friends. Sometimes you're saying no to family. And I've had to learn to do that over the years. I had to learn that, okay, you you know, I could go to this place and I can hang with you, but is this going to affect my budget? If it's going to affect my budget, I'm not hanging with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to put myself in that situation. It's too many times I've seen people go out and spend money and can't pay their bills afterwards. It, it, it just, it sickens me to my stomach to see that because I feel bad for that person because I feel like, you know, you could have avoided this. You could have just said no. And instead you wanted to please everybody around you. And life is so not about that, man. So I was never that person. I also had to learn, you know, what was in my best interest financially because not everybody wants to be around you for the right reasons. Um, and I also understood that. And I was like, look, you know, I'm on a path to to get this house that I want and get it in the area that I want, um, you know, do these things that I that are really driving to do. And I feel like um, my fiance deserves that from me. We're getting married this year. She deserves, you know, so much for me as far as like um, determination and drive and, and the will to help get us there. And so I wanted to make her proud. I wanted to make my mom proud. I wanted to make people who knew me proud. It was important for them to see, hey, okay, I'm taking this very seriously. You know, responsibility in a financial sense is so important. And I really wanted to do that um, in, in a way to not only set an example, 
um, but also show, you know, hey, this can be done no matter what age you are. I mean, I'm 46, 26, but I felt like, hey, I can still do this. Um, and I also looked at the time window I had being 46, <laughs> 26. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with me. But I said, OK, I have this amount of years of earning power left. So I really want to go ahead and push myself to the limits on this thing. Um, I started low because, like I said, I wanted to build from the beginning. I wanted to learn this process from the bottom on up and I wanted to get better at it as I went along. And I wanted to discipline myself that when I started to see hundreds in the account, which is going to happen very quickly, because as you start to see these deposits grow from, you know, in the double digits, $12, $13, $14, $15, when you start getting to the, the high teens, you're starting to see $100 every few deposits when you start getting to the 20s and things like that. So that's when the challenge comes, okay, it's getting up there, but let's leave this alone because we're doing well. And I wanted to discipline myself for that. So, you know, I remember um, this story. Um, and this was many years ago, this guy must have been in my 20s when I heard it. But this guy came to me and said, you know, Dante, I was a homeowner. Me and my wife had bought this house and it was a nice house in a nice neighborhood. But we saw all our friends and stuff like that go into the county area. I think it was like Harford County at the time where they were building all these new houses. And so he says, you know, we went out there and we bought a house. At the time, it seemed good. We sold our house. We got money for it. We bought this house. And we didn't think about the interest rate. We didn't think about getting a fix. We got an adjustable and our mortgage went up and we couldn't afford it. And within two years, we lost it. I said, what do you mean? He says, we went from homeowners to home renters in two years and we owned our home for 15 years. He says, biggest mistake I ever made is trying to keep up with everybody else instead of just doing what we were doing, which was fine. And I just listened to him and I'll never forget that because this was a guy that was probably like 50 and I'm 20 something at the time. And he's like, he's in tears, you know, he's out there working hard. He says, I got to put my kids through college. I got to, I got to still do what I got to do. But man, this is crazy how, how bad we felt. And it just made me think even then about what I was doing with my money even then. And you go through so many challenges in life and, and things are not always fair, but every day you get to wake up, you get to be better. And that's how I discipline myself. And so I've always said, you know what, you know, this is our time. I always tell my fiance, this is our time. This is our time to shine. We don't have to show the world. We just have to prove it to ourselves. And this is how we're going to do it. This is we're going to get there on pace, on time and do everything the right way. And so that determination I put in everything in my life. So that's sort of how the challenge came into effect for me, which is another way for me to improve on the techniques of saving. And I really enjoy that. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for our next savings video. Um, we're going to be growing, um, I believe that it's the um, the short-term savings, long-term savings, and gifting account. Um, if you better be saving in your gifting account, fellas, because Valentine's Day is coming. And that's another video I'm dropping today because we're going to get into that real quick. So I'll holler at you. Peace.